Hey friends, um, quick venting moment. Uh, I'm starting to understand the appeal of owning a home. I love renting. I really do. I like not being responsible for like big problems that happen. I like having mobility. I like, you know, not having a mortgage. I like renting. I recommend renting if you're not sure where you're going to be for the next, you know, decade or so. But based off of my current apartment and my last one and the realty and management and everything like that, I'm starting to understand the appeal of just owning my own place and being responsible for everything and not worrying about anyone else not doing their jobs. So I just called the, well, currently I'm kind of trapped in my new place with nothing to do because I'm waiting on a maintenance man and a cleaning person who should have come and done the things that they're about to do uh, five days ago or or sooner uh, before I moved in. Uh, the management here has kind of been around. They, as I said before, the apartment wasn't ready when I moved in. I wasn't given any warning. And then it was, it's just been a smattering of, I was here all day yesterday with the maintenance man who was fixing things that should have been done before I moved in. Um, he showed up at nine this morning and he uh, had a cup of coffee and looked around for a second and hadn't, hadn't been back since. It's one um, cleaning lady was supposed to be here early to get like paint off the floors and stuff like that. Um, I've Beth and I basically spent the whole weekend cleaning this place to get it to kind of a livable level. But uh, the, this cleaning person is supposed to come in and um, really set it to you know, get stuff that we shouldn't have to do, like paint off the floors because the painters didn't use drop cloths and that kind of thing. Uh, the maintenance guy is going to come and uh, do some touch-up painting on the walls, and he did some sheetrock yesterday. And he was just, he was here all day, and I was trapped here all day because I couldn't, you know, we they didn't give it, me multiple keys to the apartment. The management doesn't have keys. So I had the single key, and I couldn't go out and get a copy, and I also didn't really want to leave, um, even if I took Rory with you know, strangers in my apartment going in and out. So there's that. And I've been trapped here all day. I have, you know, I had this week before I started work to get my apartment ready, to get things done and kind of get to know the town. And so far it's, it's Wednesday and I've been trapped here and I shouldn't say trapped in my cute little nice apartment, but it it is. There's other stuff I need to be doing. And management just keeps telling me, oh, we'll get that done this afternoon and we'll get this done later. It's it's getting ridiculous. And I just called my old realty company and they're claiming that I didn't mow the lawn before I left. So that I had so that they're gonna charge me for that. And they're claiming that there was a pile of water in the kitchen under the fridge that we didn't leave. We mop before we left and we dry the floors. Uh, and they're claiming that we didn't clean the AC filter is good enough. And so they're gonna charge me Lord knows what for all of that. And we left that apartment in so much better. Like we left it in really, really good condition. Um, and also I'd had the lawn mowed the previous weekend. So they're saying it's, you know, it's, I guess it grew enough within the past three days that they consider it not mowed and they need to hire someone to do it. So I have a feeling I'm not going to be getting much of any deposit back on that because the place that I was sold to and the place that this is the same place that gave me that late fee. Uh, it's, I really think they're being unreasonable. Uh, it was, I gave them pictures of what the apartment looked like when I moved in we left it pristine. So Roro's doing good. She's finally settling in. She's actually, here, look, you see her? Yeah. I'll show you happy things like the puppy. What's she doing? What's she doing, Roro? She's having fun out on the patio, but I have stuff I need to get done before I start work because once I start work, I'm not going to, it's a Monday through Friday, very standard eight to five job, and I don't have any days off for six months. I can't take a day off. It's part of the whole like getting a new job thing. So, I mean, I'll have weekends, obviously, but like weekdays, stuff I need to get done. Like I need to go get a library card and change my car registration and get a new license and all that stuff. It's very, very frustrating. And the manager here just keeps telling me like, I'll get that done for you, no worries, I'm not worried about it. But she told me all that before and it's just keep
And it, a lot of things around here are like personal excuses of somebody's at a lawyer or somebody has to go to their kid's thing or something. And this is all work comes first <laughs> to me. I understand personal things and I feel like I've been very reasonable and patient, but it's every five minutes around here. It's someone has something personal to do in the middle of a work day when they're supposed to be working and they can't, they can't do it. And it's over and over and over and over and over. And I'm being super witchy right now, but I'm ready to be done with this. I'm ready for my apartment to be move in ready, even though I moved in five days ago, six days ago. <sighs> well, I just face planted and for the hell out of my hands, I walked down to the rental office to bug my, the property manager again about post office box key, not post, or like mailbox key. And everybody finished about an hour ago with most everything. Um, there are a couple of things that still need to be done around the apartment, but it's, it's to a livable level. The things that are left are not dire at all. And they can, they can be fixed later. It's like the, I need new patio door handle and uh, the unit was missing a sprayer for the sink, that kind of little stuff. So, but Clean Lady came, got all the paint off the ground or the floor pretty much. Um, and the maintenance guy came and did touch ups where he did sheetrock yesterday. So, apartment is done, <sighs> you know, mostly. And I just went to go to try to get mailbox key again promising that for a couple of days. Like I said, not dire, but I do have checks coming from Mina. <laughs> um, and I was leaving the office and I forgot there was a little step there. I was kind of like walking. I was backing out of the office and as I s turned around, there was a little step and I just missed it completely. Landed flat and completely tore up my hands. They hurt so bad. They're still bleeding. Whoa. Fortunately, the property manager had a first aid kit on hand and uh, had some peroxide, so I was able to kind of clean out the wounds and put some Neosporin and some bandages on. And this should be just tender by the time I start work on Monday. Um, but yeah, that's not gonna feel good for a while. So I'm going to go actually check my P.O. box and I was planning on going and shopping for a coffee table but I might just turn around and go home because this really hurts. <laughs> hey, so it's Wednesday night and I just got back from um, church small group and it's it was actually really wonderful. I met a, there were about 14 other people there all young professionals um one couple's married another couple's probably really close to being married but uh, mostly young professionals all out of at least like their bachelor's degree program there were several like grad students all in kind of the same phase of life that i'm in which is amazing coming from a place like mina where there was no one else there in my life stage everyone got married when they were really young it was you know, it was weird for someone to be 28 and 29 years old and not have kids and not have at least been married once or twice. So it's really cool to be in a place where there are other people in my phase of life, which is really cool. I also hurt myself so bad. I've been going since I did this earlier today and you can kind of see, oh, it hurts so bad. I'll, maybe insert some pictures. I don't know. I don't want to gross you guys out too bad, but it really, really hurts. I've been going since I did it. So I haven't really had time to focus on the pain, but now I am just like clutching ice packs because it's burning. My palms are burning. I'm just really thankful that it wasn't something worse. It easily, the way I fell, I easily could have like broken something, or twisted something. This is just skin, it will grow back, it will probably be a little tender by the time I go to work on Monday, but it should be fine right now. So, 
I don't know. Um, I need to plan a little bit out the rest of my week on this. I actually, um, there's a roller derby league in College Station, and I was having a lot of fun skating around my house the other night. So I was thinking, and they have like a rec league on Thursday nights. And so I was thinking of maybe going to that. I don't know if getting on skates and putting on wrist guards with this situation happening is a good idea or not, but it would be nice to kind of go out and meet some derby girls because I haven't hung out with some derby girls in a while. So I'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. Um, Roro is finally like playing with her toys and stuff. And I feel like I got stuff accomplished today. The maintenance people came and the cleaning lady came and she like scraped paint off the floor and the maintenance guy came and did like the final touches of paint. So my apartment is finally move in ready five days after I moved in. And Roro, oh there she is, sweet face, is finally pulling out her toys and stuff like that. So if you haven't seen it, I put it on Instagram already, but my bookcases are mostly done. I think they look pretty nice. Actually, I'm quite pleased with them. So I'm going to go back to icing my palms because I hurt myself because I face planted. <laughs>